Back on Chicano Tube. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Before we get into, you probably clicked the video because of that caption and thumbnail. Do your boy that big three. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe and hit the bell. And when you hit the bell, don't forget to hit the all. That way you're notified every single time that I go live. You know we just added the Sunday night show. So now we got Wednesday night. We got Friday. And now we got Sunday. So we're adding show after show because we do this because our voice is getting bigger. You know what the pillars are of the channel. Dios, familia y cultura. So let me go ahead and get into this intro because this video merits an intro. I want to give a shout out to OG Triple OG. A lot of people may not know who he is. Maybe you're new to the channel and a lot of people know who he is. I'll tell you why. The reason we rock side by side is because there's certain things that you can't move from inside of us. They're called principles. They're called morals. They're called standards, you know, and the backgrounds of where we came out of is nothing to glorify, period. Not one bit about it. And so that's the message to the youngsters. So that's why aquí estamos with OG Triple OG coming up. So gracias to him. Enough of me yapping. Enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys on the next interview. All right, homies. This is a Q&A that the homeboy Mikey from Chicano Tube sent over. It contains a list of questions that some of his viewers would like answers to. And you already know that OG Triple OG is more than happy to oblige. Question number one, has OG ever made a bad call on the YouTube Yarza? The answer is no. Everyone that I speak on or everything that I say on my channel comes from the heart. Therefore, I can never be wrong. Question number two. If possible, the people want to know, has OG actually hit a linea, upstate or worst state blues? The truth is, OG has never hit the pinta. And there's not a day that goes by that I don't thank God for that. However, I have served county time and have a total of about six years, which is something OG is not very proud of. Question number three, can anyone buy back in the YouTube Yarda or is it a one and done? As far as I'm concerned, Mikey, once you're deemed no good on the YouTube Yarda, ya stuvo, homie, there ain't no coming back. People like OG, would never sell out for a dollar, especially for a vato, who was deemed basura in the first place. Question number four, Benz or Dickies? Man, back in the day, it was all about the Ben Davis, homie. Size 54, homie, with the freeways on front and the slits at the bottom. Can't forget about the Ben Davis jackets. Shit, if it were possible, I would even buy Ben Davis boxers back in the day, homie. <laughs> All right, let me move along to question number five. Whose covers did OG pull that makes him feel helped? YouTube hinted out the most. I would say without a doubt, The Runner. When I first surfaced on YouTube about two years ago, I went in on Gunner big time, and it was because of that, that a lot of people's eyes were open. Along the way, other people started exposing them as well. And because of that reason, I don't think that Vato's going to be able to wiggle the way he was doing prior to that. Alright, the next question. Rapper Oldies. Even though I like both, if I had to pick, I would have to select oldies because I grew up on them and because they bring back so many good memories from back in the day. All right, here's the next question. This is a good one, actually. The people want to know, recently it was put out there that OG gave a copy of the YouTube keys 
to an ambitious young individual? Was it due to that individual removing an imposter and throwing them off the tira? Yes and no. The main reason that I handpicked Conejo from EBK Collective to hold the Yarda down is because that vato is ambitious. That vato is ruthless. And that vato reminds me of who I used to be when I first came on YouTube. And that's exactly the type of person that I want running the YouTube Yarza. And so far, that vato has not let me down. And I don't think will let me down because just like OG, he's not down with vatos who are out here misleading the raza. Therefore, I couldn't have made a better decision as far as the YouTube Yarda is concerned. But make no mistake about it, OG Triple OG is right there alongside Conejo. And there's nothing on the YouTube Yarda that goes down without OG knowing about. Much love and respect to the homeboy Conejo, by the way. Now, on to the last question. What is OG's message to the youngsters today? I would say stay in school, listen to your parents, stay away from drugs and gangs, because there's nothing honorable or glamorous about dying for a neighborhood or the name of a street. Life is short. Live it the best you can. Stay away from the bad stuff. And learn from others' mistakes. So they don't end up costing you your life or your freedom. With that said, gente, I want to give a shout out to the homeboy Mikey from the Chicano Tube. Make sure you guys tap in with him. I also want to give a shout out to his wife, Christine. Much love and respect to the Diaz family from OG Triple OG. And I'm out. Al rato.